Your morning news continues now on KTRA. Hey, Jerry's News Time is 617. Thanks so much for joining us here this morning. Take a listen to this. I, I, I love little girls. They make me feel so good. That's the, uh, the pedo bear. Joining me right now, Randy Burton with Justice for Children. Randy, welcome to Houston's Morning News. Thanks for taking the time this morning. You bet. Hey, uh, this pedo bear, explain to this audience what it is, and then is this a real threat to parents, or is it a joke, like many people are saying? You know, it's hard to, it's hard to make a lot out of this. Uh, I, I, I've read up about it on the Internet, and it, it sounds like it was originally created, if it can be believed, uh, be believed uh, as, a, as a joke, uh, about a very serious subject, which is pedophilia, right. and you know, obviously, some people uh, take god awful uh, liberties with little children. Uh, but now there is apparently a, a, a legitimate concern that it's being used uh, by pedophiles as a way to uh, attract little kids. We certainly know that that uh, sex offenders um, quite often put themselves in positions where they have access to children. Uh, all we have to do is look at that uh, latest case with a Pennsylvania coach where he surrounded himself with a nice-sounding uh, children's... Organization, uh, right. Exactly. Randy, uh, Randy uh, Burton joining us here this morning. He's with Justice for Children. You know, this began, this concept, it, it's an illustration of this bear, and it was put on the Internet a couple of years ago. It was a joke, uh, and, and it was aimed at people who are inadvertently creepy. Uh, however, it's been co-opted, apparently, uh, by pedophiles, embraced by pedophiles, and according to the Attorney General's Office in New Mexico, uh, they apparently use this to identify themselves and make other people uncomfortable. And I have a picture of this thing up on my blog, KTRH.com, a keyword, Matt. You can check it out. Uh, and uh, Randy, if you would hang on for me, I want to come back and, and ask you, if parents should happen to see this image, I know some of it, uh, it, you know, it's a sticker on the back of people's cars. People might see it on their Facebook page or in their email, what exactly it is that they should do. Back to the information. And conversation with Matt. This is your Houston Morning News. KTRH News Time is 622. We're glad you're here. Randy Burton is also here. He's with Justice for Children. We're talking about the pedo bear. This is an image of a cute little bear that is actually being used by pedophiles to lure mainly young girls uh, into their uh, into their web. And uh, Randy, it's not illegal to have this image. And again, it's if you're interested in what it looks like, KTRH.com, keyword Matt. I've got it up on the blog. Go take a look at it so you know what we're talking about here. But it's not illegal to have that, say, on your car. I've seen it on the back of people's cars or, or on the Internet. What should parents do if they come across this thing? Well, I guess you have to use common sense, Matt. But it, to me, it's almost like an unofficial sex offender registry you know we can actually get online now and find the locations of people that have been convicted of, of sex crimes against people um but this if you see this on somebody's t-shirt or you see it in a place where obviously someone has access to other children i don't think you can be too careful in protecting your in your, your children and i i think you you just have to consider it as one more resource that uh, you need to keep your kid away from this particular person, unless it's someone you obviously know very, very, very well. Randy, uh, Justice for Children, your organization, it, it, does it does it make you wonder, as it does me, that there are so many pedophiles? It seems they should be in the shadows, but they seem to be out front with their pedophilia, especially where this image is concerned. Does does this just blow your mind? I mean, it does for me. Uh, absolutely. I mean, it is it, it is scary uh, if it's being co opted, as you say, and that's obviously what the what this attorney general is saying. I mean, we know that, for example, with child pornography, that pedophiles have used very sophisticated encryption programs and things like that so they can share these terrible images of little children. And uh, if it's a sign that they feel comfortable enough now that they can open
openly communicate with each other by having these symbols and so forth, uh, uh, our society is in serious, <laughs> a serious world of hurt. Uh, it, we know that sex offenders can, in a lifetime, uh, sexually abuse as many as 800 children. And, and it's not something that they stop doing the older they get. Right. The, the only way we can actually protect children from from serial offenders like that is to put them behind bars. Randy, I, I, and I, you know, I, I couldn't agree more, and I, I thank you for what you guys do uh, with uh, Justice for Children. Randy, thanks so much uh, for joining us here on Houston's Morning News.